Hello and welcome to the section of Calculus 1, Extra Practical Derivatives. We're going to do a couple more problems with integrating polynomials. They're not, you know, in theory any harder than what we've done before, but you know, like with anything else in math, if I give you a tricky enough problem, I don't want to say tricky, if I give you an involved enough problem, you may know what to do, but just cranking through it can be difficult. One way this is done uh, with problems is with fractions, you know, dealing with lots of fractions. So let's go ahead and do a couple of these problems, one of which will have a lot of fractions in it, and just kind of show you how to, you know, get your machete out and kind of slash through it and just get to the end. Um, it all comes with the territory, just learning how to practice these things. So if I had an integral of negative 1 to 1, 2x plus 5, uh, 2x minus 5 dx, and I said integrate that, you should immediately recognize we don't know how to do that as written because this is a polynomial multiplied by another polynomial, and I haven't told you what to do when things are multiplied together. But what I have told you is that you uh, can do it if the polynomial is all expanded out, so that's what we're going to do. Let's multiply this. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. The inside terms are 10x. The outside terms, these guys, negative 10x. And the last terms, these guys, is negative 25. Dx. Right? Dx. So there you go. Now these inside terms cancel, so that's going to simplify things nicely. So negative 1 to 1, 4x squared minus 25. And this is all you have to do to integrate this. All right? So let's go ahead and and take this one step at a time. How do we integrate this part? Let me switch colors. How do we integrate this part? Well, it's going to be 4 over the exponent plus 1, and then we have the exponent plus 1 on top of the x. The minus sign comes along for the ride, and then we're going to have 25x, and that's, that is the integral. And the reason it's 25x, again, is there's an implied x to the 0 power. So 25 over 1, x to the 1 power. Now, we are evaluating this from negative 1, to 1. So you see where the difficulty is. You've got this 4 thirds running around, so that's just going to introduce a lot of fractions whenever you actually in, in, evaluate your limits of integration. So you know how to do it, it's just slashing through all of the fraction math, you know, can be a little challenging, and that's why we get practice with it here, so that if you're stuck with that on a test, you don't, you don't worry about it. So break out your brackets and just do one step at a time. 4 thirds, 1 cubed minus 25 times 1. Now here is a great example. I know that 1 cubed is 1. I know that 25 times 1 is 25. So technically you don't need to write all that stuff down, but writing it down explicitly does two things. It tells your teacher you know, you know what you're doing, so if you make a mistake you'll get partial credit. And it also forces you to think in sequence, because the day will come when you will make a simple mistake, and this will prevent you from doing that. So here we have 4 thirds evaluating the bottom limit of integration, uh, like this, and then 25 times negative 1. So lots and lots of writing, but writing that pays off. All right, and so what we're going to have inside of here, inside of this guy, is going to be 4 thirds, 1 cubed is 1, so we'll have minus 25 right here, minus. Now right here we, we know that 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1 should give me negative 1. So I have negative 4 thirds inside here. This guy gives me positive 25. All right, so now we're getting down to something manageable. Now let's distribute this negative sign in and see where we get. So we'll have 4 thirds minus 25 plus 4 thirds right here plus 4 thirds, and then we'll 